I'm lit. Down. Fuck it, we ball. Saw <laughs> dudes. Welcome to a legend how to. In this series, we'll take a look at the abilities and team fighting strategies of the characters in Apex Legends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bloodhound. He's. FBI, open up! There. One of the best fraggers in the game, with a kit that is heavily based on intelligence. The name of the game with Bloodhound is Tracking. Bloodhound's passive constantly tracks for actions of enemy players within a single minute. It picks up a lot of shit, including doors opened, enemies getting hurt or killed, item and weapon pickups, emptied and thrown magazines, spent casings, zipline usage, pulled grenade pins, abilities of other legends, smoked cigarettes, dirty dishes, crushed beer cans, your mom, etc. But the most important thing you can keep track of is your protein intake. Most doctors recommend 0.7 of your body weight in pounds in grams. Wait, I, this is the wrong screen. But the most important thing you can track are footsteps. Bloodhound can also track whether somebody has jumped off a ledge or not. Little icons will appear that only Bloodhound can see. You can ping these icons, alerting your teammates, and sniff out those who left them behind. In short, there is no escape. This ability is good for sizing up the safety of locations you're looting. If there's a bunch of doors open, but there's no clues there, the team that looted them is probably long gone. If there are clues, obviously they've been there recently, and you should keep your eyes peeled. Let's talk about the tactical ability. See that predator vision? Bloodhound's tactical is a scan that projects a cone in front of them. This works through walls. If enemies or traps are caught within the scan, the moment in time of which they were scanned makes them appear to you and your teammates. This ability has a lot of utility. It will let you know if bad guys are turtling in a building filled with Caustic's angry cloud spitters. They, they know where we are. Oh, hey, traps, 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 traps. The main downside of this ability is that once the scan goes out, the enemy can see that you have done it as well. So you basically announce to the enemy team that you're somewhere in the area. If you miss your scan, this can be a real pain in the ass. Your tactical has a 35 second cooldown, which means you can use it comfortably from one typical engagement to the next, but you're not going to be able to spam it throughout the course of a fight. And now the big one, Bloodhound's ult. It charges every 3 minutes and 30 seconds. When it's activated, you get a significant ground speed and field of vision buff, as well as grayed out vision except for enemies, which are highlighted in red. The ability has a couple of seconds of wind up time. When it's popped, Bloodhound becomes a fragging machine. It's useful in close quarters, don't get me wrong, but it's also very good for pointing out bad guys from far away that you might not otherwise see. Any little red specks you see in the distance are potential targets. This of course has a downside, Bloodhound basically goes Super Saiyan God, and in this mode you glow faintly red. The ability lasts 35 seconds and displays a timer towards the top of your screen to let you know when it's going to go down. Charge up time is 3 minutes and 30 seconds, middle of the pack for ultimates across the board. You can pop this comfortably anytime you get in a teamfight, really. The seeing red effect also works through smoke and knocks gas, and that probably outlines one of the best team compositions in the game for you, right there. Tag him again. Oh my god! I'm not. You're insane. All right, here we go. They're smoking. Oh, out. If you have nades, that doesn't matter. I'm bloodhound. Hey. They have one to the right. Down. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, oh. One's almost knocked. They, they're just finishing me while we're shooting at them. Oh. Let's get it! Bloodhound's ult, in combination with Bangladesh's smoke and Caustic's bad balloons, makes for a threatening combination. Bang smoke is already a good defensive and offensive tool to begin with. If an enemy Bangalore smokes themselves off, you can pop an ult and shoot them through the smoke. If a friendly smokes the enemy off, they can't see you and you can see them. Likewise, friendly smoke on your team makes you able to shoot at the enemy from within the cloud, concealed. Combine this with Caustic's gas and congratulations, you have discovered the digital threat meta. Now you know why people are whining about the wingman so much. In short, Bloodhound is a worthwhile addition to really any team composition, but is most effective when paired with legends that can take advantage of sight lines. I like to play Bloodhound like a sniper shoddy style. The ult is a great spotting tool at a distance, and you can close the gap with the movement speed. Call out clues to your enemies, go Super Saiyan when the fighting starts, and that's all you need to know about Bloodhound. Oh, he hit me. He got me. More enemies down. Knocked. Nice. He didn't die. Self rev, self rev, self rev, self rev, self rev. Nice Good call. I really do enjoy playing Intel based characters in games, and Bloodhound is no exception. If you like playing Jackal in Rainbow Six Siege, definitely give Bloodhound a try. Bloodhound's ultimate might get nerfed in the future, but I can still see this character being a very viable pick months to come. Further beyond!
Down one. Don't fucking run away from me! Wait. Wait, I'm Gregor. I'm Gregor. Down. Next in the legend how-tos, Raven from Team Titans. Be the first to see it by subscribing to this channel and following my socials, Twitter and Instagram, in the description. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I promise you it really does go a long way. I'll see you all next time. Deuces. Yeah.